The equestrian competition is one of the oldest events in Olympic history, dating back all the way to 1900. But it disappeared for a short time due to the horse crisis of 1904. Don't write that down. The horse crisis of 1904 is not really a thing. The competition is broken down into three disciplines. Dressage, where the horse and rider execute a series of predetermined moves. Show jumping, where the horse and rider leap over obstacles ranging from three to six feet in height. And eventing, where the horse and rider compete in a combination of all three disciplines, including cross country. Men and women compete against one another under the governing body of the Fédération Equestre Internationale. That's French, so we won't be discussing what they do. A lot of people get into riding because they love horses and they want to work yeah. with the horses. I think I got it. Oh God, don't, and then don't. You go um, but it's also, it's got physical benefits and mental benefits. The physical benefits is a lot of people think you just sit on a horse and the horse does the work. But if you gallop a horse up to a three foot or higher jump, you're just hanging on with your legs. You have to have the strength, you have to have the balance, you have to have the core stability, um, as well as it's a cardio workout when you're going around on course jumping courses. Give him a kick? What? Oh God. I feel like he's gonna take off. Okay. Each All horse right. is different. I mean, they're like people. That's what's kind of neat about the sport is you can be having a good day, but the horse can have a bad day. And you've got to work together in harmony. And um, they, with their different personalities, they ride different. Some are really forward and fast. Some are slow and lazy. So the more you can ride, the more you can train, the more you can get on the different types of horses, that's going to make oh. you a better rider. All right. <laughs> I just feel like that. <laughs> How do you guys run like that? That's amazing. 